we need to help people deactivate survival mode. And they're very, very easy tools. It's just that it's the awareness of it um, that we need to, to really bring out. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal farmers. I wrote a book um, in after the the, Nor the Norway massacre in 2011, in uh, where, where 77 people were killed by this one young man, and I I was so shocked. I'm Norwegian. I live in Oslo, Norway, and I was so shocked by by what happened. So I started digging in. I started studying him, and then I started studying other similar mass killers around the world, and I learned that they aren't so different from the rest of us. And I discovered that they struggled with loneliness, not feeling that like they belonged in our society. And I knew that feeling, because I've been feeling that for many, many years as well, moving around, living in different places around the world. And so that's when I started um, researching loneliness and human connection. And since then, I've been talking about human connection and loneliness. And, and now, with, with the US Surgeon General, coming out with an address, an address um, just before the summer last year, saying that loneliness is really an epidemic. Half the, the U.S. population is dealing with loneliness right now. And, and, and we're seeing it. We're seeing it in terms of the polarity in the population, um, employees disengaged, uh, quiet quitting, people, you know, le leaving, giving up. We see a lot of hopelessness in our society. And a lot of it stems back to loneliness. So that's what I, that's what I do. I, I talk, I speak about it. I also do workshops for companies um, to help them. How do we can create more connection in the workplace? Because most people spend most of their waking hours at work. So if we can help them and create a community and transform the workplace into a place of community, we've already done a lot to, to combat the loneliness epidemic. So that is my, my, really my big mission is to help companies. People are starting to, to be ready to talk about loneliness and to admit that they're feeling lonely. So that's a really big step. And I think what's, what's really um, is happening and that we're not aware of, because we, most people who feel lonely today have people around them. Right. So, so we're wondering, like, how, how come I feel so disconnected and empty and dissatisfied with my life, even though I have people around me, I shouldn't be feeling this way. And so what we need to remember then and what I'm what I'm teaching people is that what's happening is that most people are in survival mode in fight or flight 70 percent of the time. That's what the research uh, shows. And what happens in survival mode, not only is it, you know, we're flooded by, you know, stress hormones and chemicals that are actually damaging for our, our mental and physical health. But what happens also is that we become suspicious of other people in survival mode. We lose trust. And when we lose trust, collaboration is off the table. Connection is off the table. So even though we have people around us, we're actually not able to connect with them in a fulfilling way when we're in survival mode. So that's where we need to start. We need to help people deactivate survival mode. And they're very, very easy tools. It's just that it's the awareness of it um, that we need to, to really bring out. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal farmers.